Hi, I'm Aaron Voot. Searching for Osiris and the Tree of Life is part three of the Ancient Cosmological Gods trilogy. What is a myth? A myth is a traditional story, especially one concerning the early history of a people or explaining a natural or social phenomenon, and typically involving supernatural beings or events. Legend has it that it was a so-called mythological landmass known as Atlantis which disappeared beneath the waves 12,000 years before present. This otherwise metaphorical mystery has become almost completely erased from living memory. Atlantis, it is said, was home to a highly sophisticated and spiritually adept pre-Diluvian seafaring civilization. This accomplished society of master stonemasons were capable of traversing and mapping a wholly interconnected globe, the fingerprints of which appear to weave together not only a map of unimaginable megalithic wonder, but also a map of the human mind and beyond. And regardless of our religious leanings in the modern era, our ancestors appear to have succeeded in maintaining a mythological template of humanity's hidden higher self and chiselled it into stone. Plato's tale describing the disappearance of said civilization around 9700 BC had largely been dismissed by the mainstream. Until now, the notion of a long-lost pre-flood civilization had been rendered almost impossible due to the archaeological evidence lacking between the rise of said sea levels and the accepted chronology of civilized high society around 3100 BC. The evidence, however, does exist and lies in ancient Anatolia, modern-day Turkey. Gebekli Tepe is a vast and cosmologically aligned temple complex, which still remains less than 5% excavated. Dated to around 12,000 years before present, the complex displays a plethora of intricate high-relief pillar carvings, which appear to possibly encode an ancient cataclysm, which disrupted the course and subsequent rise of humanity. This profoundly revealing methodology wasn't even considered possible for another 6,000 years. But the fact remains. It's there. And the facts have changed according to the resulting research therein. Moreover, we also witness a vast and ever-expanding number of unexplainable and logic-defying construction techniques and commonalities spanning continents that are classically theorised as being independent of each other. Even more astounding, however, they also share and wholly reflect the same cosmological ideology regarding the otherwise mythological tree of life, the roots of which appear to span both time and inner space. With this in mind, is it beyond the realms of plausible rationality to suggest that the post-flood survivors fled the fallout of the Americas and rebuilt a culture from an already established technological know-how? which has since been otherwise misaccredited to an ancient Egyptian society which seemingly sprang from nothing and erected structures which witnessed an inexplicable and thus illogical decline in craftsmanship thereafter. Almost every ancient civilization, including those who inhabited some of the most remote and isolated corners of our planet, all recall a time whereby the so-called gods kick-started and thus reseeded a devastated populace with the knowledge and tools to overcome the catastrophic fallout of the end of the last ice age. But who, or indeed what, were these gods? Where did they come from? Where did they go? Will they return? Or rather, did they ever really leave us? Once again, I'm R.N. Voot and searching for Osiris and the Tree of Life is available via Amazon.